What is good guys back with another smog to a series we have here versus mounts here for round one They're starting with Sun and Moon OU So looking at the teams Black Oblivion has used something like this in ulti playoffs The Jirachi is like most likely Spadef with uh, which protect U-turn and Iron Head It's amazing pivot in this game nice versus the Lele uh, Slow U-turn amazing versus Superior Zapdos is gonna be Defog Discharge um, Either Heat Wave or HP Eyes and Roost when um, Black Elven used this in old T, the Zard was Zard Y, but Zard X is more effective at the moment, how the matter is. I would th assume that it's a Zard X, especially since he doesn't have a T there as a support for Zard Y. And there's, I think, Scarf Greninja and Defensive Lando. And that may make sense for the Zyga to be um, Z move then. And looking at Mount's team, it depends a bit if the scissor is defensive HP ice that would be his Zygarde measure and then he could afford to run Scarf Lando um, we'll have to see but I'm thinking that the little is Specs which is usually a great breaker but it's not going to be able to do much to Jirachi I think Specs in power fire is like 37 38 um, the turn is going to be the rocker and the Lando is going to be Scarf is what I'm thinking in defensive scissor with Defog um, bullet punch roost and then either HP eyes or U-turn like I said weak to Zygarde if it's Lando's offensive so it might be HP eyes even uh, Rocks trend with Magnus Storm off power taunts but have packs and yeah superior with subseed most likely I would probably with Greninja if I was here here Scarf Gren is a uh, fine lead and because I don't see Mounts leading with Toxa packs when there's Lando uh, Zygarde and Zard and like there's a lot of mods that scare off the Pex in this game. So now um, Pex is most likely gonna come out here, scouting for Scarf, U-turn, Greninja, or like uh, scouting for Ice Beam. I don't, like I, I, what I meant to say is he's gonna go for U-turn here most likely, but obviously Mount has to scout for Ice Beam. I mean, Tren was fine in the sense that it covered U-turn, Ice Beam, and it also covered the potential extra sensory if he predicted the Pex. But I feel like Pex would have been fine there as well. So he can go Lando here, get up his rocks. I don't think Mount is going to stay in. We do see it's lefty's turn. Mm, what is Mount going to go to? Um, his own land or the scissor here? Most likely the scissor to defog the rocks away. I guess he could go superior as well because that resists of Quake, but he is just going to throw the rocks up. And if superior comes out, Jirachi can then come out next turn and like. Leaf Storm into HP Fire doesn't even do that much, like maybe around half, and then Jirachi can just U-turn out to get something in like um, Scarf Greninja. So I don't think I would have, hmm, I don't think I would have gone to Siberia. I would have probably gone to, yeah, Scizor to get the Mega off because then you can check the Zygarde better. So he's just gonna Leaf Storm, but this is what I'm talking about. Slow U-turn is amazing here. Mount switches here, gets momentum. He also has rocks up now, so he's gonna be able to put some pressure on Mount's team. And yeah, even if Mount stays in Hidden Power Fire, it's not gonna do too too much. Superior is kind of weak, even though it's plus to Hidden Power Fire. I would assume it would do like around half. Um, but Mount's probably gonna switch to Toxapex. because you don't want to go to Lando or Scissor here and take rocks because then you get chipped down and Toxapex has regenerator and doesn't care about about rocks that much but if you go Pexy on U-turn that will let in the, the Zygarde again and depends on the Zygarde set a bit what type of Z-move it is okay it just goes Lander we see it's not Helmet so I'm thinking that's the offensive Lander yeah so he's gonna go Pex this time I assume last time he went Trend that's a bit too risky to do that again and he is probably going to U-turn again, but if he keeps doing this aggressive U-turn type of thing, Mounts might eventually have to stay in, because with Rocks up, if he keeps getting U-turned on, he's in a really bad position. But yeah, I was talking about the Zygarde. Um, if it's Dragonium, the Scissor can check it really nicely, but if it's um, Groundium Zygarde, it can put in the work. If it if it's played correct by here, um, it's probably DD, um, then either the Elvish or the T arrows. I've even seen the Earthquake, but... Uh, with T arrows on the same set, but usually it's um, the T arrows, and then outreach sub AR options or sub E speed is also an option. Depends a bit on the team what you need, what you want. But I don't see amounts risking his Landris. He's probably just gonna go Pex. Okay, that's the Pex here, probably U turning. Yup, keeps up the momentum. And now he can go Zygarde. 
or Zodix, put offensive pressure. And Mount should just go hard to Scizor, yep. As do we see the sub or DD? We do see the sub. So the sub DD definitely. Um, Mounts is just gonna bullet punch to break the sub. So the thing is, he has set up a sub. I know that covered the skull, so he cannot get burned and cover the toxic, but I don't think Mounts was ever staying in. I think the reason why you also would sub up is, I know it ensures to not get status, but I think it's also kind of telling us that he has something to hit the scissor with, so this is telling me that it might be Z Groundium, because if you Z Outrage, you're not gonna be able to do too much damage to scissor, so even at plus one you do less than half to Mega Scissor, I'm pretty sure with Thousand Arrows. So I'm definitely thinking that this is Z Groundium. So he's just gonna T Arrows here. Um, Mount is in a tough spot here, if he breaks T Arrows, yes he can Roost. But if he had DDs again on the roost, that would put mounts in, a, in an odd spot, in a tough spot. I think overall I would definitely go for um, for DD again if I was here and put the pressure on mounts. But he just T arrows. And you guys can see it only does 41%. So here um, it's gonna have to Dragnance again to do more damage to the Landris here. That's a Landris, I mean, that's <laughs> or I mean, he has a Landris in the back and he has the option to go out into Landris. To intimidate the Zyga, that's that's why I said Larynus by mistake over Scizor. But the thing is, if he goes Landris here on another DD, then his Scarf Landris would be slower and T arrows would still do a lot. So I don't I don't know what the play is. Yeah, just BP to get damage off. But it doesn't do much. And now he's in range on Z thousand arrows after that. I think I, I like I would have just DD'd if I was here. But to be fair, this was still a fine play. And now exactly it's in range from Z. Groundium and he goes to land I think scouting for the Groundium, but yeah, he did this again You guys could see but I punched at 25 so I guess it was a potential roll to it KO But it was probably in high he is favor so DD again was free and Now Mons is in a really tough spot. Um, he might have to sack a Mon here And if the Zyga is Groundium his scissor is um, obviously gonna die to that this Landris is... Mm, nice to check Zardex, I guess, with Earthquake or Stone Edge if it's Scarf and HP Eyes. I don't really think it's necessarily think it's Stone Edge, but... Yeah, they, they, they do sometimes carry Stone Edge, right? On Scarf you don't run Rock, so you have another move slot. I do think that this is also um, nice with HP Eyes for opposing land, though. So I guess Mounts might just sack a superior or something that's not so useful in this game. I mean, you could use superior to weaken Jirachi and then potentially put in some work with Specs later, but that's all theory. At the moment, he has to throw something in because this plus one Zygote is a big threat. Um, the thing is, I think Landros would have died to that because it was offensive Lando and it's E-Speed, okay, okay. So now we know the entire moveset, sub DD E-Speed, Southern Arrows. So he does have, he does not have Outrage. Because he had 2,000 arrows wouldn't have killed the Serp, so he would have. If he was Outrage, he would have either had to lock into Outrage or he would have had to use a Z move. But yeah, now Lando can take it, uh, the C T arrows, and Lando can go for HP Ice here. The thing is, I, like, I wouldn't go for Earthquake even if Earthquake kills as well, because um, that's the option here going in, of here, here going Zapdos or um, his own Lando. Exactly. Yeah, Zapdos was the the best play there by here. I completely agree. Um, it also covered the the, 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 the the scissor, okay. I think Mounts predicted that he is Lando and he wanted to go to scissor to get a roost up, something like that. But at this point, okay, Voltswitch on the packs, he is like really far ahead at this point. If he's Zardex, he can go to it here and... Oh, he goes to Zygarde again. I mean, I was saying, even if he's Zardex with DD, he can also go to Zardex and set up. But now he just clicks, um, Thousand Arrows here. And E-Speed is gonna get the kill on the land, you guys can see that it's 33% even though it was not banned, so that was definitely offensive land and most likely Scarf. So Lele comes out here and he clicks... I guess he can click in Power Fire, predict the Jirachi. The Jirachi is really obvious, yeah, and it only does 39 and after lefties it doesn't do much. And I assume he went for Wish. U-Turns, I mean that's completely fine for here. If the Lele is specs, which it is because it's confirmed from the damage, now he can go Zardex, click Dragon Dance and pretty much end the game. Yeah, the game is over, right? If it's if it's DD with Earthquake. Um, so Mount is gonna have to go into Pax or Tran here, but if it's Earthquake, the game ends. So it goes to Pax. It is Zard X. Does he just attack? No, he's Dragon Knight. So the game is over. <laughs> so this was... This 
I mean, I'm surprised that Patch actually lives that, so it's gonna be able to toxic. But since um, Zard has earthquake, it's um, and I think the Lily was in. No, no, the, the thing is like, it's not gonna take too much recoil. Like earthquake kills the Tran here, and Flabbit kills the Lily. That also, if he goes to Lily first, he also cannot bullet punch the with Scizor. But even if he goes to Scizor first and bullet punches, the Zard would still live the recoil because the Scizor is already weakened, and then. It would also kill the um, the lily. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this was game one between Mouse and here round one smog tours. So the next game is either gonna be black, white, or auras. Stay tuned for that. If they come to, if they happen to play auras, there will be a fire matchup. Both players are amazing at auras. I would look forward to that. Overall, auras is not my favorite gen, but those two players are amazing. It would be a fire matchup to see. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Peace out and smash the like button if you want to see more of this. Uh, of the Estus players and of all T players, etc. And peace out, friends.